Hey Tinkerers, today I'm going to take us through setting up the Wi-Fi for the Anycubic Photon Mono X. This is a great resin printer that has a Wi-Fi capability where if you use your mobile app you can monitor the progress of your print settings, you can you can actually read some of the history of your print time, some resin settings and things. Um, I find it really handy because my printer is set up in the basement uh, so I can keep an eye on the print progress from the mobile app, check in on it periodically. I also have a webcam um, keeping an eye on my, my prints as well, but uh, it's nice to see the actual progress uh, percent printage of the um, how the printing's going. So this seems to be a little bit of a um, some confusion out there with, with how to get this configured. So what you'll need is, of course, the printer itself, uh, the USB, uh, drive that came with your printer or or any 8 or 16 gig one will be okay um, and obviously your um, phone or wherever you're installing the Anycubic mobile app and I would recommend downloading that ahead of time so that make these instructions easy and we really only need probably five or ten minutes if we're taking our time so if you plug in your USB drive that came with the Photon Mono X, you'll likely to see some files that came with it. There's the English and I believe Chinese uh, instruction set uh, PDF, some reference uh, models for you to print. Uh, but the file we're interested in is the one that's called Wi-Fi.txt. Uh, and if you don't have that there, you, you'll want one called Wi-Fi.txt. If you open up the one that came with your Photon Mono X like I did, it might have a bunch of strange characters in it, you can wipe all that out or start from scratch. What we really want is something that looks like this. So uh, you want it to say Wi-Fi space account colon and the SSID or broadcast name of your Wi-Fi. So this is what you would see if you were looking for a Wi-Fi uh, point. You'd see it here and you do need a colon after each of these lines, uh, each of these three lines. So you want to put your broadcast name here, or your SSID, Wi-Fi name there. Uh, and then, of course, your password. You'll need to put your password here. Uh, and then you want settings, colon, one, comma. Uh, settings means your Wi-Fi has a password. I certainly hope it does. If not, you should fix that, too. So, uh, so broadcast name, password, settings one, with a uh, comma after each line. Save it to your flash drive and then grab it uh, and then bring your flash drive over uh, mine was red like this that came with my mono X uh, I, th I think it was uh, I think it's an 8 gig and plug it in fire it up and then go over to your print menu pr and hit print uh, and you'll see your Wi-Fi dot text here you want to tap that and then hit the play button or the print button as if you're printing that file and it should give you a uh, menu saying success uh, once you do that if it's successful you'll want to go to info and look at this IP address and write that down or or keep it handy you're gonna need that for the next step um, then of course on the mobile app side you'll want to go to the App Store uh, I'm using iOS and and they had the Anycubic mobile app there. I haven't checked to see if it's also available for Android, but I'm I'm betting it is. Uh, it's called Anycubic 3D. So download that now. And then when you try to add a device, uh, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. This is where I think a lot of people get confused because they're like, uh oh, it's asking me for information. What do I need here? The model, obviously, you select the model that your model will be the Mono X device name is anything you want and then you'll need that IP address that we grabbed in the previous step this is what the app looks like when you have it installed you can see your uh, you can see your printer connected you can see um, you can add another device here this is the previous step that we just were looking at where you would add your uh, device name you can pick it um, and also uh, once you once you have it set up, it'll keep a history of all the files you printed. You know some of the information about the file. I like to see look back and see how long each file took, um, and then you should be in business. You can even if you if you leave your uh, 
USB drive plugged in, you could even start a print from the mobile app, which I find pretty handy, and then you can, of course, monitor the progress and see how it's doing. That's it. If you like this video, uh, subscribe, and I'll be adding more things to it. Thanks.